Okay, Pat, I think we're on the recording, so um, okay, well, would you like me to try to list then. the folks that are on the phone and go that way? We will convene the meeting and and have introductions from those anyone who's on the phone. So what if I if I could maybe I will list the people that I at least remember hearing on the phone here. Um, so I've got Pat Melby, uh, I have Sheila Rice, I have Jeanette McKee, um, I've got Bob Gochi. Bob, are you out there? I thought okay, he I was. I haven't heard Bob, Bob yet. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, Amber Sunstead. I've got Johnny McCluskey. And I've got Eric Schindler as far as board members. Uh, I have mm -hmm. uh, Nick Mazonic. I've got John Wagner. Mm -hmm. And then in the room with me, I have Mary Bear, uh, Paula Loving, Todd Jackson, Vicki Bauer, and Stacy Collette. And also Penny Cope is on the other line. Mm -hmm. Drew on, or is it just you, John? I just walked in, Bruce. Yep. Okay, we got Drew. Uh, Drew Page. Drew Page. Anyone mm -hmm. that I did not uh, list. All right, Pat. I'll let All you right. Are take there over. any members of the public out? Are there any members of the public out there who would like to com comment on any subject that's not on the agenda and is within our agency's jurisdiction? Okay, we can move on to the first agenda item, which is. Uh, Approval of the prior board meeting minutes. I don't have the date of those right in front of me. Um, Pat, I'll just I'll go ahead and give those to you, and I'm going to move down to them. It's the November 20th uh, board minutes, and they were in the board packet. Yes. I'd move yeah, approval. Yeah, I read them, and yeah, I would do the same. And I would second, Jeanette. So we have and Sheila moving. Rice with motion, and Jeanette with a second. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded to adopt the minutes of the November 20 meeting. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, uh, Mary, we're going to move on to the multifamily program and the resolution so, amendments. So, Pat. Mary's been out, and I've been kind of uh, filling in for her and doing a kind of half of her job at least, but not all of it. Um, uh, so I, I, I'll go ahead and just explain what we got. It's a fairly, fairly easy explanation. Um, in in all of the rush to try to get all of this done, um, you know, unfortunately, just sometimes things slip through. Uh, the two projects, the Rockcrest project and the Heights Senior, when we did the resolutions uh, at the board meeting in November, the numbers that were included for the total bond amounts included only the, the part that would move forward um, as a permanent loan. When these projects get bond funding, they also include part of their construction financing in the bond issue, which is which is really normal in the way these happen. Uh, just to clarify, the TEFRA notices had the correct number, so that is a really good thing, um, but the, the resolutions didn't. So all we're really doing is we're changing the up to um, total bonds issued on um, Rockcrest um, from seven million up to 12 and a half, and then on height senior, we're increasing that number from seven and a half million up to eleven and a half million. Um, uh, staff uh, does recommend uh, a motion to approve these amendments um, to the to resolution seventeen. Uh, the amendments, uh, the resolution amendments are numbered seventeen dash twelve twelve dash MFO seven which is the Rock Crest Amendment, and then 17-1212 MF08, which is the Heights Senior. Okay, uh, I notice on the agenda that Copper Ridge was uh, listed as also needing a resolution amendment. Thank you, Pat. I'll clarify that is we, at the time I put the agenda out, I, I wasn't really sure about the bank that they were going to be using 
um, in that conduit deal, uh, but Bank of Montana is the bank they're going to use and they've confirmed that, so we don't need uh, any amendments for that resolution. But thank you for letting me clarify. I will thank you for clarifying. All right, do we have a um, motion to adopt these two resolutions? And I don't have the numbers right in front of me. I think we can just refer to them as the ones that I read to you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, this is Eric. I move approval. This is Johnny. I second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to adopt the two resolutions that have been referred to. Is there any discussion? Uh, this Are is Sheila. I will be abstaining from. This. I'll be abstaining from this motion. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, is there any comments from any member of the public? Hearing none, and hearing no discussion from the board, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Hearing no opposition, the motion carries. Uh, Mr. Chairman, okay. just a question on your side. Um, we are trying to figure out a way to ha do DocuSign to get your signature on these amendments. Are you in a position to have access to a computer um, here shortly? Yeah, I'm on a computer. Okay. Um, there's a chance we may not be able to get that done. If not, we'll call you. But um, we're going to try to get you, uh, you know, the, these for signature here in a little bit. So we'll kind of let you know the progress you, of that. If you if you need to, you can FedEx them and just include a return FedEx. In yeah, the and that's our second option. So if we can do it by DocuSign first, it would probably be easiest. But if we can't, we'll FedEx. So we'll let we'll right. let you know though, and make sure you're not sitting there wondering. So, um, and that is all okay. we have. And I just want to thank you guys so much for um, being so reactive and getting on these calls with such little notice. Um, you know, at this point, you know what we know about the tax reform is is that it's going to conference committee. Um, what we've heard is is they'll probably have the first conference committee on Wednesday um, with the idea of. of doing something or getting something approved by the beginning of next week. So, uh, but that's that's all rumor. So we'll wait and see what really happens. Bruce, this is Sheila. I'm in DC and I'm, this is Sheila, I'm in DC and I'm gonna go up on the hill tomorrow to the Montana Coffee and then I've got appointments with uh, Jim Forty and Gaines' staff. So if there's any specific messages I, my message is the private activity bonds right now, but if there's anything else in particular that you want me to speak to with their staff members, I'd be happy to do that. Just send me an email or a text. Absolutely, and, and Sheila, the email that Pat Melby had sent out the first part of this week, mm -hmm. that op-ed in it? Yes. That was yeah. actually an op-ed that we wrote here at Commerce, and that kind of does a, that's exactly the message we have right there. Correct. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. I'll be happy to take take that message forward. Thank you. That would be wonderful. Thank you for doing you that. The rest of that's them great. to do the right thing. That'd be great too. Just keep going from office to office. <laughs> 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 Is there coming on? You. Okay. Uh, does any board member have any further business? Hearing none, we would Thanks, guys. Sure would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll move adjournment. And I will second, All right. Jeanette. All those in, big, in favor signify by hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a happy, happy, happy. 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 happy.